This is a hard drive um, for the digital screen in screen two. And basically they come in this big yellow box, which is really hard to open. The digital projector works uh, the same as a computer. You have to set up a playlist for it with the lights and um, the adverts before it. You uh, upload the film from the hard drive onto our server and they're encoded so then you, you receive digital keys in order for you to play the films for a set period of time. They're delivered by a courier and when it's a really important film um, they come over under different names. 35mm as an acquisition format is going to be around for some time to come because cinematographers happen to like the look of it. In terms of exhibitions and for cinemas to use it, I can't see it lasting more than another five years except in very specialist cases. In the cinemas, in, obviously for distributors now it's kind of cheaper for them to make digital film prints and 35mm film prints and the benefit for the cinemas is that you know it's easier to book films in. It's going to be a problem if cinemas don't convert to digital because 35mm prints are going to get increasingly harder to get hold of. How long does it take to train someone on the, on the digital projector? Well, it took me about a day, but then I had to do it a few times to make sure that I was doing it right, to, just to remember like the lights and turning the music down. But really, it's just pressing a button. You can give someone a list of instructions and they can probably just sit there and figure it all out themselves. Digital projection is much more a case of pressing a button so it's much easier to operate. The only thing is, if it does go wrong, you have to call out an engineer and basically they just come around and fix the computer. It's not possible to damage a digital film. Uh, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. With a 35mm film, with it going around different sites, it can get scratched, it can get damaged, diff various parts can get cut out. Yeah, I do think digital is better than 35mm. The picture's much better, it's much easier to put the film on. Do you think that smaller, lower budget films will find an easier route to cinema? I don't know at the moment because what's happened with, I think with digital filmmaking becoming cheaper it's meant there's so many films coming out that I just get a feeling that the, the expense is needed in other areas although you can make them cheaper and you can get digital prints cheaper and easier to get them in there's still this question about the sort of marketing and reaching the audiences so what you're saying is that the filmmakers are going to face a different problem? Yeah, there are. They are there are different problems already. I mean, part of it is, you know, like I say, with this, this sort of marketing side, it's, there's so much around. If you look at the papers, you can see sometimes there's not enough room for them to do decent length reviews about all the films. So the only way you can make up for that is you know, having your posters and everything else or social networking. But you know, you still need somebody to work on that social networking. So the number of films that, come, that comes out each week has gone up so much in past years. It's gonna be sort of tough to go out and let everybody know your film's there, so. Can you, um, can you demonstrate how the projector works? Can you go and press the button? Yeah. 